predators can be a real bitch, therefore I will go through what I do and if it works, how good it works. My best predator defense are far by the fence we have. A real fence around our whole property will protect very well, but they won't protect from uh, like uh, foxes and such digging under and jumping over. And therefore, this is far the best thing I have ever invested in. It's an electric wire, three, three versions going, going through. I have one on the bottom. I wish, wish I started with this wire because it holds much better through the winter. Doesn't get weighed down by the snow and such, and it's much easier to uh, attach. Then I have this band, so it will cover a bigger surface, and this wire on top, because, like I said, foxes and such like to jump, and th this prevents them from digging. What my father taught me is that uh, it's just enough to have uh, electric fencing up something that the predators hears that clicking sound from electric and then they will avoid getting there. So they will just avoid the sound of the electric so that does a lot so if you can't cover your whole yard cover a bit there where you know you have the predators. It's important to do regular checks of your electric fencing so you know it's hot and live. You can see. Okay. Did it work? Yeah, there we go. It's full, blasting, and it will hurt like a bitch. thing I have, uh, what many have seen, is, is netting. This is due to that uh, my main predator problem is hawks. So I have, I have this. It's a normal berry netting. So if a hawk tries to take my silkies, it will get tangled up. It won't stop them, but it will give uh, the silkies some time to run away and seek shelter. And also hawks, uh, they w want to land on a clear surface, so if it's some kind of wire going, they won't want to land there. So many use just normal fishing wire and, uh, going through there to stop the hawks. So this is a cheap option, it looks like crap, but it can keep your silkies safe from aerial predators. Uh, next thing is reflective stuff. Works mostly against aerial predators, but can work against many others. Because of some reason they don't like reflective stuff. So I have mostly this in my kitchen garden to also prevent smaller birds from destroying my crops and such. But there are more reflective stuff that can be good for use. I also have these, they look a bit better, more appealing to the eye. Then I have these on each of my coops. It's normal uh, makeup mirrors. It, uh, they're really good and cheap and they will give a reflective uh, vision up to hawks and such. I have, uh, you can see, I have glue them there, so it, they will stay. For some reason, uh, animals like hawks, I guess it gives them a, a sort of uh, a visual impairment when it reflects up, up against them, so they, they don't want to land there, because they can't see what's like on the ground. I also have uh, these, uh, very simple, very cheap, also, also reflective and they also move, so it will give some vision, uh, visual fooling against predators. And you can see I also have uh, 
this uh, decoy crow. Hawks don't like crows, so everything that looks like a crow is a good thing. Comes to my next point. I also have this little guy. Uh, hawks are also a pr uh, prey, so they also have enemies. Owls are one of them, so you can have a decoy owl. Remember, just remember to move them, because they, if they stay in the same place, they will learn that they're not harmful. This guy is the, my, one of my newer additions since Halloween, very, very recently. Uh, this gives a fooling of a human being. They're easy to move, they're easy to sheep. But who wants Halloween decoration year up about what keep my bird safe? And I'm happy. A lot of people use these. I got this as a recommendation from my neighbor. It gives the fooling of a predator eye. Also they move. Uh, mine has, you can see I have painted a bit on it because the calling started to fade. It's easy to just take a spray can to refresh it. Uh, unfortunately they uh, easily break so they were once they are fluffed up for a while, I have this one for about two years now. Still holding on, but I have some that have faded. Don't underestimate a classic scarecrow. Easy to make from your, some of your old clothes. Just take a stick, some old clothes. I made a head of some plastic, put a cap on it, and it looks like a human being. Rem just remember to move them regularly. So you will shock those predators. One of my best predator protection are like actually spotlights. Uh, they trigger uh, uh, when you have movement and light up. This will scare the predator and shock them. And think like, what the hell is going on? I have solar spotlight. Uh, remember to get the more expensive one or else they will break your first uh, winter. And these actually hold through the whole winter, even though we don't have uh, as much sunlight, they still light up during the night. So one of my best predator protection are actually these guys. That's why that I got them, to be an alarm system against hawks. People, they are amazing predator repellents. They will guard your property. They will sound the alarm if they see something they don't like. And uh, hawks don't want to mess with them, so they won't land. They have tried out. And most uh, geese can withstand most predators. Their main enemy is the fox. Therefore, the electric fencing is that's very important. <coughs> but stuff like mink, weasels, they don't want to mess with the geese. Uh, and the geese, they will protect your flock, they will protect your chickens, they will protect your ducks. So they are amazing to have in your uh, bird system. I <coughs> One of my main reasons to choose ganders before the females are that the ganders have bigger uh, territorial... territorial uh, uh, what do you say? Uh, territorial uh, feelings. So they will guard more than the females does and also the males have hard times to get home. That's one, also one of the reasons I show, shows them. So consider getting these lovely little feathery puppies if you have problems with predators. Yes, and you guys are messy. We are in the middle of mud season, like you can see. I need to fix this for next year. And there you can see one of my other predator protection, like I showed before, Halloween decorations. Amazing to have. So remember how I told that uh, crows, uh, hawks don't like crows? Therefore, these guys are amazing. Don't uh, underestimate black chickens. Black chickens will look like a crow, uh, crows from a hawk's eyesight. 
That's why I chose to start with five black silkies to protect my flock. Because they look like tiny fluffy little crows. <laughs> 